Hello everybody, Rev Megas here welcoming you to my impressions, my honest opinion on my time at Sandrock based off of the demo. Now, this game is one I've been looking at for a long time since it was announced. And if you've seen my channel, I'm very much into the my time at Porsche game. I thought that was an amazing game. I loved the mixture of still having some farming elements, but most of it was designed around building bigger and better contraptions and kind of automating tasks for the other villagers. I really thought that was a cool aesthetic. So when they announced my time at Sandrock, I was very interested on what their plan was going forward. Because anytime you do any of these games that are simulators, it's hard to introduce a lot of new big elements that make sense. And this one, at first, you kind of got a little bit of a feeling that this was going to be less built around the idea of farming because you're out in a deserted area. You're in this like sandy desert -esque style village. And... It seems like that's going to be the case. There isn't going to be as many trees to hack down. There isn't going to be that kind of stuff. It's going to be more scavenging to then build up your stuff. My main nuance with this already, though, is I'm getting the feeling of deja vu. The, like I said, the first time my I played my time at Porsche, it was brand new. Wasn't like any of the other games that were out there. My time at Sandrock at least from the demo, made me feel like I was playing my time at Porsche, just with like a few enhancements or a different color of paint. You have really a lot of the same, even the same intro almost. I Instead of the intro of coming in on the boat, you're coming in on a train, you're getting a lot of neat shots of the town. You're getting just, you know, you're getting a lot of that intro to what everything's going to look like. But then the game kind of goes through the exact same steps as the first game. You basically, you know, meet the old builder. You go see your, your house. You go do a quest for the mayor or the guild master, I should say. Then you bring that back to him. You go to the mayor. You get registered at your shop. You, It's just a very... It feels like I'm playing the same game. Now, granted the demo is not a complete representation of the entire game itself. But just from that initial nuance, it does seem like this is going to be a game that is relatively more of the same as the first one. And that's kind of one of those feelings I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The good part is, is if you love my time at Porsche, you know exactly, you kind of know exactly what you're going to get. You know, the story is going to feel a little bit like treading old ground with new characters. Now, they it did introduce a, another builder, and this other builder, I cannot remember her name right off the top of my head right now, she at least kind of seems like another potential character to be friendly with. In the first game, you felt like you were the only builder. You had the one girl that was like, you're kind of farm mate, but overall it was just you. And at least with this, they introduced her, they give her kind of, she's helping you out. And that, that works. But once again, and I know I'll say this, it just feels like the same game. A lot of the characters have similar attributes to people that were in the first game. There's a couple of random quirky characters. This was very apparent in my time at Porsche. The bear in the bathrobe was one of the big characters that was, you know, he kind of seemed like he was a character that was thrown in there as a comic character. Uh, same with this one. You have a guy that dresses up as superhero and he teaches you how to fight. It's... Not terrible, but it's just, you know, it's kind of one of those things you you just kind of get like, this is a little, mm. So, overall, the game does feel, 
It feels less alive, if that makes sense, too. It doesn't feel like the town is real, if that makes sense. In the first one, it seemed like there was always things going on. There was always people kind of moving around the town, and it had a very built feeling to it. You had this town that was designed with pathways, with stairways, with houses, that kind of stuff, that were all laid out in a traditional sense. With this game, it's designed more around like a Wild West feel. So it does really come off as more of those saloon style, which once again, I'm gonna keep saying this. If you're like, that is the aesthetic you wanted. You wanted my time at Porsche. You wanted it set in a basically Wild West setting with some sort of outlaw storyline as well. This will work for you. If you wanted to really dynamically change everything with the game, shake up the game a lot, I don't think this game will scratch that itch. Now, once again, <laughs> all the stuff that I'm saying could eventually just be thrown out the window when the full game is released if they change up everything. Now, I'm, I'm playing it just as the demo, and for what I'm seeing in the demo is it does feel very rehashing. So it kind of hits that weird point that I'm still excited about the game coming out, but I think my expectations have been tempered a little bit. I was really hoping for a bunch of changes or at least a little bit more diversity to it. And so far, I'm not feeling that. Honestly, it feels a little bit toned down, at least right now. So these are kind of my initial impressions, kind of my honest viewpoints on my time at Sandrock. Uh, I would love to hear if there are some other opinions. Maybe I'm completely off and people are like, oh, this is this game is completely different. But I don't think that's the case. But let me know if I'm completely off. And if you guys agree or disagree with the vi video, let me know. And until next time, this is Rev Mega saying I will catch you later.